Welcome back, Professor C here. I hopefully you saw the video that I just published right before this one, where it does a data validation that is better. So let's run it real quick, and then I'm going to make it blow up because there's a problem. So I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to put in negative 5. And then I'm going to put in 0. And then I'm going to put in BLC. So the code's right here. Can BLC be converted successfully to an integer? If you said no, you're absolutely correct. I'm going to make the program blow up. I'm getting a traceback runtime error. And it's basically saying here, invalid, literal for int with base 10 BLC. What I know what that means because of all my years in the industry, it's saying BLC cannot be converted to a uh, integer um, that contains a value 0 through 9. But most people don't know what that means and it's very confusing. So I'm going to show you a much better approach. Let's get rid of this and let's get rid of this and let's take a look at this beautiful piece of code. Notice up here we set test to 0. Not a problem. While test 1, which is the name of the variable, is less than or equal to 0, we stay in this loop. But do you see anything new here? And I hopefully you see the try and you see the accept. So let me explain what this does. We set I test 1 to 0, and we come down here. While I test 1 is less than or equal to 0, we're going to try. And what does try mean? For example, say I had a friend that was going to try to walk across a type rope with a bunch of crocodiles underneath it. I don't know anyone that would do that. But if I put a net across it, and I would catch them if they fell, so they could try to walk across the tightrope. If they successfully did that, not a problem. I don't need to catch them. However, if they try it and they fall, I will catch them. So this is the try, and if it works, great. If something goes wrong, we go to the exception and we encounter it. I'm going to leave this code here, and I'm going to run it, and this will help you understand. So I'm going to come over here. And I hope you see that the code is right here. I'm going to type in BLC. We know from just a few moments ago, BLC cannot be converted to an integer. So what we're going to do is we're going to attempt it. It's going to fail. I test 1 will stay 0. And we'll come down to this exception value error. And we'll say input must be a numeric value. And it will go back up to here. Let's try it. So look what happened is we attempted to convert BLC to an integer. It did not happen. It was a problem. So we come down to here. Input must be a numeric value. When we come back up, I test 1 is still 0 because we did not have a successful input to integer conversion. So I'm right here asking for it again. And I'm going to type in 10.5. And we know 10.5 cannot be made to an integer. Only 10 can be. So we're going to hit enter. And notice we get down to here again because 10.5 cannot be converted to an integer. So we come back up here. I test 1 is still 0. So we ask for input again. I put a negative 5. And look what's going to happen. We won't get this message because a negative 5 can be successfully converted to an integer and put into I test 1. But when we come back up here, I test 5 is less than or is negative 5 is less than equal to 0. So we're going to keep asking until you give me a number that is not a negative or zero integer. And if we put anything other than that, this will take care of it. So now I'm going to put in a successful integer of 8, 9. Can 8, 9 be converted to an integer? That's true. So we skip over the value error. We come up 89. Is it less than or equal to zero? And it is false. And we get going. There you go. I hope you understand that. And I hope you enjoy it. If you need a little more time with it, replay the video and experiment with this sample.